The biggest challenge or biggest crisis knocking the door of humankind is fear and intolerance. Religious intolerance and jungle justice in Nigeria. The mother of Deborah Samuel at the Shehu Shagari College of Education in Sokoto over allegation of insulting a prophet of the Islamic extraction hits the nation in a gory term over the weekend. It was alleged that she blasphemed the Holy Prophet in a WhatsApp chat group. This is one case too many. Religious intolerance and jungle justice has become a canker worm eating deeply into the fabrics of our nation's solidarity. When it comes to religion, Nigerians fight for God, but when it comes to defending their rights, they leave it for God to fight for them. The sad reality underpinning this retrogressive display of darkness is that people who are full of hate and violence pretend to be religious faithful. It does not matter what you think about this, but you cannot assess God through religion. Religion is man-made and there is no evidence God is in support of it. We only grovel on conjectures while building our faith around doctrines, believing that by all means possible, God is placated in our belief, this belief we find solace in. No religion is higher than humanity. The human entity is a dominant factor in the face of creation. It is God's mental construct and the pursuit of divinity. Humanity is God's excellent artistic design for the clinical advancement of creation far and above religion, hate, terrorism, and the host of violence perpetrated by ignorant people who believe that taking people's life in the name of fighting for God confers them with celestial blessings. God does not approve of evil, killings, and violence. When you take a life, you hurt God. You misrepresent God because God is love. It is a complete falsehood to think that part of your assignment as a religious adherent is to defend God. God did not ask you to defend him. Look through the holy writ. It is carnal to assume that your religion is superior to others. It is a dark understanding of the intention of God to justify such killings too. I would therefore advocate that we tolerate one another, respect our diversity, religious and tribal, and protect humanity from the monster it has turned religion into. Society must punish religious intolerance, hate, and jungle justice, and teach balance and tolerance. No society can grow if it allows injustice and incivility. Section 33 of the 1999 Constitution as amended guarantees right to life, and it says that no one is permitted under the law to take the life of another person except as prescribed by law. These boys who mobbed and killed Deborah in Sokoto must be brought to justice. The religion they profess has no authority over the Nigerian state and those who do not believe in it. A man's right to swing his hands ends where another man's right to defend his nose begins. I shall go to Rabbi again.